You may have seen a portable 8-track tape player from the 1970s made by Panasonic that's often called Dynamite or TNT because of the unique shape of its handle that doubles for carrying it around and changing tracks. And that's a very popular and collectible piece of vintage portable audio equipment. Ones in pristine condition can sell for several hundred dollars. Here I have the cassette counterpart to the Dynamite 8-track player from Panasonic. This was their Taken Tape portable cassette recorder, model RQ711S. It was made from around 1973 to 1975, and it was advertised together with the Dynamite 8-track player. And just like the Dynamite 8-track player, it was available in multiple colors, blue, yellow, red, and the white color I have here. I found this one in a thrift store and the only thing I had to do to get it working is to clean out old battery corrosion. Once I did that and put new batteries in, it works fine even using the original belt. From the front it almost kind of looks like a portable TV which may have kind of been the point of this design but that's the cassette door. You pop it open, there you can see where you put in the tape there are the function controls, eject, fast forward, rewind, play, stop, and record. So yes, this can record as well as play. There's the built-in microphone. Has a folding carrying handle on the top. On this side you get a volume control and connections for a external speaker or earphone, which it calls monitor an external microphone and that's a hole where a plug would go for a remote switch although this does not use it however some microphones had a permanently attached remote plug so this would give you room to plug it in even though the remote plug wouldn't be used for anything on it and on the other side is an AC power input although it's a little bit smaller than the standard figure of eight boombox style power cord that's used these days. So I don't have a cord that would actually fit this. So I'm running it on C batteries. It runs on four C cells. And I did have to clean out some battery corrosion but it wasn't too bad. And there's the built-in single mono speaker. So this is only a mono player and recorder. And there on the bottom is the model information plate. RQ711S runs on AC 120 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 3 watts, or DC 6 volts. Mashusta Electric Industrial Company Limited, made in Japan. And if I press play, there you can see the capstan and pinch roller and the playback head. And there's the real turning. Even has the little chrome thing in the middle to reflect off the middle of the tape so you can see how much tape is left. Now if I press the record button the race head pops down but you notice it's not moving and the capstan and the pinch roller and the recording and playback head have not engaged. That's because the recording is not one touch. You have to press both record and play and now it's actually recording. Another little quirk is that the fast forward and rewind buttons do not stay pressed down. You have to hold them down for as long as you want to rewind or fast forward the tape. And since this was sort of the predecessor to the Walkman, why not demonstrate it with a bootleg Indonesian Walkman Fever tape from the Hins collection. So this is not an official Sony product. It was something that this Hins company in Indonesia came up with. Harmonious Ideal and Natural Sound Seeker Hins collection. Made on BASF tape, made in Indonesia. And there it is. It definitely does look like a BASF tape. Even the tabs are in, so I could actually record on this if I wanted to without needing to tape over the tabs. Here's the information Walkman Fever. There's the track listing. Interesting that they have a group called Cassette. I looked that up, they were from the Netherlands. So I'm definitely going to play that track. Selected and recorded by Hins Perfecta. And they have a stamp of approval. It was tested by somebody in Indonesia. And there are the lyrics of all the songs. 
printed without permission. So that's a bootleg unofficial Walkman Fever cassette from Indonesia. So here we go with a little bit of the group called Cassette played on a cassette on the Panasonic Taken Tape from the 1970s. So it's not exactly high fidelity, but you have to remember that in the early to mid 1970s, most kids were still listening to portable mono AM transistor radios, which were definitely not high fidelity either. And here's the rather abrupt eject. It just sort of slams the whole thing open. Now I'll try some recording using this very exciting looking 3M standard dictating cassette. Pop it in, press record and play at the same time. Now recording using the built-in microphone of the Panasonic Taken Tape RQ711S portable cassette recorder. Okay, now I will rewind it. Remember, you have to hold down the button. Now recording using the built-in microphone of the Panasonic Taken Tape RQ711S portable cassette recorder from around 1973 to 1975. Now using an external dynamic microphone with the Panasonic Tick and Tape to see how this sounds in comparison. Probably will sound quite a bit better than the built-in microphone since it won't be picking up the motor noise. Oops. I taped over somebody's copy of Celebration. Didn't expect to hear that on a dictation cassette. Well, certainly both the built-in microphone and the external microphone I used were distorted in unique and different ways on this recorder. So clearly something not quite right with this in terms of the recording. But it probably was not a very good recorder to begin with anyway, given its nature of being a cheap portable cassette recorder aimed at kids. Of course you wanted to see the inside, so I will not disappoint. Only two screws to remove and it comes apart. The speaker stays in the lid. Looks like the same speaker that's used in the Dynamite portable 8-track player. And there's the tape mechanism. Nice big heavy metal flywheel and only one belt and as far as I can tell that is the original belt and it's still good. Maybe a little bit loose but certainly still working. Here's the rewind. You can see how it pushes the belt against that pulley. And there's fast forward. And there's play. Look at all those springs for the buttons. That's why they have such a solid feel to them. Though you can see they're already starting to make most of the mechanism out of plastic even in 1973 when this model was introduced. But yet they still managed to fit in on transformer 
So you can just plug it directly into the wall. And there's the date code, 586. But that's not 1950, that's the Japanese year 50 of the Showa period, which converts to 1975. So it looks like this was made August 6th, 1975. And I just realized this kind of looks like a woman's handbag or purse. So, I don't know, were they trying to market this more towards girls while the more boxy and masculine looking 8-track dynamite player was aimed towards boys? I don't know. Certainly a unique possibility. I mean, the, the, even the microphone thing kind of looks like a flower. <laughs> so, so I guess this was their kind of girly style portable cassette recorder player from the early to mid 1970s. And here's what Panasonic came up with in response to Sony's Walkman about a decade later. It's their stereo to go portable cassette player. I would love to show this to you, but unfortunately it's not working. The tape mechanism actually works fine, but I don't get any sound out of it. Not even a hiss or hum coming out of the headphone jack. So this will need some repair work. But I believe this was Panasonic's first Walkman style portable stereo cassette player model RQJ9 so hopefully in the future I can also demonstrate this Lacey's presents Panasonic Taken Tape here's a new cassette recorder hard to looks like one once you see it you want it you have a lot of fun plays on batteries plugs right in with a built-in mic you can't wait to begin Taken Tape Taken Tape Panasonic Taken Tape Six handy buttons, easy to the touch, comes in five crazy colors, doesn't cost much. Take and take. Take and take. Panasonic. Take and take. Take and Panasonic take. Panasonic take and tape cassette take recorders, take now at Lacey's.